the study that was published uh, yesterday on April 10th, 2020 on remdesivir, uh, which is uh, a nucleotide analog uh, known to inhibit uh, the viral uh, replication. Uh, it was uh, based on the compassionate use of the medication uh, by the company, total of 61 uh, patients uh, received the medication. They put uh, the results in a cohort uh, uh, study and published it at uh, New, England, New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, <clears throat> the medication is known that uh, is uh, been uh, uh, studied in uh, a randomized control uh, trial that is still ongoing and we're expecting the results uh, in the near uh, future. The way they uh, put this uh, data together uh, was based on the uh, uh, level of uh, respiratory support, they called it uh, oxygen support. Uh, they had a total of 53 patients uh, uh, who were uh, entered in uh, interpretation of the results. Uh, of those patients, uh, 30 patients were on mechanical ventilation and 4 patients were on ECMO. Those were considered invasive uh, support, 57% uh, uh, on mechanical ventilation and 8% on ECMO. So more than 64% uh, uh, of patients uh, were uh, very uh, sick uh, patients in this uh, study. Uh, seven patients were on non-invasive mechanical ventilation. The remaining patients were either on low flow oxygen or on room air. They looked at uh, what happened uh, to the uh, uh, oxygen support or respiratory support uh, on an uh, uh, ordinary scale from one to six, uh, one being discharged, and then uh, room air, uh, low flow oxygen, non-invasive, uh, invasive, and death. Uh, so they looked at each uh, category, uh, what happened to those patients, and came up with the uh, results uh, that uh, uh, an improvement in oxygen support uh, class was seen in 68% uh, of the patients. So you can see here the invasive uh, support total of 34 patients ended uh, up with uh, eight of them discharged, which is 24%. Eight of them were on room air, still in the hospital, 24%, close to 50%, got better. And uh, 9% uh, required non-invasive mechanical ventilation, meaning they were extubated, uh, but required non-invasive mechanical ventilation. 26% of patients still intubated uh, or on ECMO, and 18% uh, uh, died. Uh, uh, so in total, uh, same thing applies to the non-invasive, uh, the flow, low flow oxygen, and the uh, room air. Uh, at the end, a uh, total of 68% uh, of patients improved. Uh, Extubation rate was 57%. 47% uh, of patients were discharged home. Uh, overall mortality was 13%. Uh, uh, the mortality rate for those patients who were mechanically ventilated was 18%. If you remember, the mortality rate in uh, uh, different studies for those patients who were intubated uh, were around 50 to 70%. So this is a remarkable. Uh, low rate uh, relative to uh, what is known in other studies uh, and in non-invasive mechanical ventilation it was five percent you can see that this uh, a single patient uh, out of those non-invasive uh, patient who died uh, one other patient required to be intubated uh, from non-invasive uh, mechanical ventilation i think this is a very good uh, uh, positive uh, uh, or uh, or uh, uh, optimistic uh, study that uh, the uh, uh, randomized control trial that is ongoing right now may, may, may actually tell us more about uh, the uh, beneficial effect uh, of this medication, but I'm looking forward uh, uh, to see the results of this study and uh, uh, I hope uh, the results will be positive in a way that uh, can improve the uh, uh, outcome of this uh, deadly disease. Thank you very much.